Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. I don't know why I did a thumbs up. Uh, we've been doing some other stuff down there. I don't know if you saw it, if you did see it. So we have a little bit of an issue today. It's a, it's a big issue. Neptune has gone lame, and this time on the front foot. Neptune has done his foot two or three times on camera. We've done his foot twice this year off camera. Ross has been, she's a little bit annoying. He has just gone with the Highlands about two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. He's gonna lay him quickly on his foot and I don't know what it is. I'm a little bit worried uh, because we don't want him to go lame on his feet. And if he keeps going lame, it's really not good. Can't have a bull that keeps going lame because the issue is what will happen is he will not want to breed because he won't want to jump on his feet. And uh, if they do get an infection, I have heard that they go infertile for about two or three months and they get back to it. Neptune's had a couple of issues. He's been here for three and a half years since I've been doing YouTube. Um, pretty cool that he came when I was on YouTube, but I want to see what it is. If it is something major, hopefully it's just like a stone. That would be great. Uh, but if someone made you, we might have to uh, make a pretty heavy decision. But yeah, it's one of those. Let's go see what's up with him and see um, what's wrong with him. He hasn't moved all day. So that is a big issue. Right. Oh, Ross looked at his feet 19 days ago. Because he had an issue with his back foot. Right, let's go check it out. <laughs> we had this open. They've been in a little bit of an area over there because we've been spreading slurry in this field with a dribble bar, so grazing should be better. The boys there. Uh... Big lad is here. See him on that front left of his. Don't know if you can just see him. See how he get on, but I'm not getting, gonna get too close. Hey, boy. not want to put any weight on that leg. I think this is looking like a bigger job than just his foot. He's not wanting to move. This is a big issue. So you can see on his outer foot, left side, he's got white line disease there. I don't know if that's his shoulder. Has he jumped on a heifer and fallen badly? You can see where he's been here. And it's not like you could just Ask him what the issue is. My man who picks cows up is uh, coming today to pick one up this afternoon, well, tonight. So, it's uh, one of them. Not an easy decision to make. But you just see that just above his knee, he's obviously got, let's call it his shoulder. I don't know, between that shoulder. There's an issue, I could be wrong. I'd like to see him walk. Give it a go. Go on it. Go on it. I think he's done his shoulder. Like, genuine. I'm gonna send a video to my Hoof GP, my mate, see what he thinks. It's not looking good. I've got a video it. I'm gonna send it to Graham, he didn't answer his phone. I'm gonna send it to my foot trimmer as well. And see what they think. But he's gone lame really fast. So that's the issue. The speed it oh wow he's gone lame. A it could be a stone. But the only thing is he's not bending that shoulder. See that he's walking. See that? Do you see that? I don't know how well he can, hopefully he can. He's not bending his shoulder, which I'm that's the bit I'm worried about. He needs looking at ASAP. Boy's in the same spot as he was yesterday, which is really not good. So I got the cattle trailer. I'm gonna have to bring him home because he definitely won't walk that far, but he's not he's not good where he is. Hey boy. So we are four, five days after we got Neptune. We brought him into the cow so we could monitor him a little bit better. I got a block on his 
foot you'll see just to see if it is anything to do with the feet i spoke to my foot trimmer and the hoof gp they said they can't tell by the videos that i sent to them um, but after a while we've noticed that it is the shoulder he's still limping really badly on that foot uh, block hasn't done anything so he must have fallen off something he's a little bit old he's six years old now i think six years plus uh, been a bit of a legend here he's been at the farm for three and a half four years he's been a really good bull he's been really temperament's been great uh, we had the vet look at him two days after so after i got the block on him i had to get off with the vet to look at him two days after he said give him a bit of rest uh, does look like it's the shoulder and he's not really moved from around the ear so he's moved around this area but he's not gone anywhere from here um, he's been an absolute legend even with that bad leg he's been on three feet and he's been trying to save some cows whilst he's been in this group but then the, when the cows walk off he hasn't been following them um, so it looks like unfortunately big nep's gonna have to uh, gonna have to leave the farm and um, which is really really sad we can't do any more fortunately with bulls with the front feet or front shoulder you can't really cure them you probably know that i had one a few years ago that we had one not a bull but a bullock um, break it's like arm here ish and uh, we cast it and we sorted it out neptune being so big can't really cast it you can't really do a lot it's just going to get knackered obviously he's had some issues with his bad feet this is a uh, the foot from a ross there you can just see there looked at that two weeks ago and now he's gone bad in his foot he's obviously jumped on a cow the cow's moved and he's pulled his shoulder out i think cows don't really show pain as much as us humans but him being like that is obviously struggling a lot and um, there's no real other option he, unfortunately he's going to have to leave the farm we've booked him in today to go uh, because of that bad foot we can't travel him anywhere um, which is right so he has to have a vet note to get slaughtered on farm because he's got a bad foot he can't go traveling he can't go long distances in a trailer which is completely understandable so we've booked him in today and um, for him to go which is pretty sad really it's just uh, like i say he's been a great bull i wouldn't have got rid of him if he wasn't wrong he was temperament was great calves were fantastic this is one of them there look at that look at that that's one of his boys, he's a Bullock boys. An absolute super duper bull, one of my faves. You probably know from the YouTube channel, I actually love this bull. I always say he's what, about 900 kilos, but he actually might be. I reckon he'll be over a ton, we'll find out when he does go. He's been doing well, he's been looking after himself. You can see we've been feeding him hay. He's going this morning, he's booked here. Me and dad made the decision yesterday. Pretty hard decision, it wasn't an easy one to make but it was the right decision definitely to do, I think, for him. We've given him a chance and we've given him some time, but that shoulder's not getting any better and he's not doing anything. You don't want to see animals suffer. So we've always tried to make him comfy, give him cake, give him grub. So I'm going to give him cake one more time this morning just because I'd like to just make sure he's happy on his last day. The weather's good, which is amazing. Settled and keep him comfy, which is the main thing. But yeah, it's sad because of just about to legend he is. One of those things. It's one of those freak accidents. It happens on the farm. And I like to show you everything that does happen on the farm. Even to the main characters, the big Neptune. Who's been an absolute hero. Absolute legend. So I'm going to leave him to it. I'm just going to go move the electric fence. Going to feed him some cake. And then he's going later on today. He's always had a new set of ladies every six to eight weeks as well so i think he's lived a good life here every six months he's always been outside and any opportunity we do do we chuck him outside and he just grazes grass and just plunders on never really causes any aggro sad day today it happens on the farm it's not all rainbows and sunshine but you'll never see the rainbow about the rain so gotta have the bad days to have the good uh we are going to look for a new angus bull and go to the same guy i think so we'll take you on that journey as we go forward and see what we can do. This is the highlights of him being here. Absolute hero. See you in a bit. Bye. There you go, big lad.
that's it. We have got a bull. He's called Neptune. Neptune. Neptune's the god of the sea, which fits quite well for being at home. Good thing about Neptune and the bull and his whole herd is they're a high, high welfare, high health um, status. Very exciting day. Neptune is coming. That's it guys, Neptune is out, the heifers are out with him. Good lad. On the area. So Neptune keeps trying to top, well no it's not topping, top the cow that's in calf, and she's definitely in calf because she's bagging up quite a lot, but he keeps trying to jump on her. Legend. Before anyone asks, I'm not going to go in this little area to go that way. I'm going to have to jump the fence. It is pretty placid, but at the same time, don't really want to get right close into it and try and get past it. Go on, girls. mode is turned on. Look at the size of that man. He is unbelievable. He looks at his element today. He is the man. Can't believe how much he's grown. He is filled out. And the main thing is that she carved it on her own. So Angus calves can come out of Highlands no problem. And they're still cute as anything. Just cleans back end up. Trim his tail. There we go. It's ten times better. We'll show you a before photo. And then we'll show you an after photo. So this is what it looks like after. Ten times better. This, he doesn't actually put a lot of his weight on the heifers. He has a massive neck, don't you boy? Good lad. Yep. And out the just a cracking ball. I like everything about him. It's just amazing. Love him. Absolutely love him. Hopefully you'd have got our highlands and